Welcome to another episode of Animal of the Week. This week's animal is the oil bird, a brown but ornate bird that gets its name from the fact that baby oil birds were boiled down to make torch oil. Oil birds are endemic to northern South America and the Caribbean island of Trinidad. They live in an incredible range of altitudes, from coastal caves to mountainous rainforests 3,000 feet above sea level. They require caves to roost in, but also need forests nearby to feed from. Oil birds are found in colonies in caves like bats. The largest colony of oil birds is found in Cueva de Guchalo National Park in Venezuela, where it is thought around 10,000 to 18,000 individuals live. The reason oil birds have to live close to such lush rainforest is because they're frugivores, so need fruit-filled forests to survive. They eat only a select few families of fruit that contain very high concentrations of lipids and low water content, which is what allows these birds to be complete frugivores, as animals that eat more watery fruits don't get as much energy from them, so either have to eat other foods as well or constantly forage for fruit. Oil birds live around 15 to 20 years. They are monogamous, meaning they mate for life with one partner. Once they have mated, they lay two to four eggs over a six day period and will then incubate these eggs in their cliff or caveside roosts. Babies are born very fat. They weigh more than the adults, but they will lose a lot of this fat. They are born with it because their fruity diets have little protein in them, so they grow very slowly and so rely on this fat reserve to survive. Oil birds have many characteristics similar to bats. They are nocturnal, so deploy echolocation. Oil birds and swiftlets are the only known birds to use echolocation. An oil bird's method of sonar is much cruder than that of other animals such as dolphins, as dolphins possess special organs in their heads called the melon, whereas oil birds simply rely on their hearing. The click produced by oil birds are anywhere from 2 to 10 kilohertz, so are well within the human hearing range of 2 Hz to 20 kHz, so bat detectors aren't needed to hear them. An oil bird's eyesight is also well adapted to their low light environments. Their eyes contain mostly small rod receptors, which are responsible for letting in as much light as possible, but few cone cells which are responsible for letting in colour and dictating overall resolution. This means an oil bird's eyes have a very high capacity for light, but the image has bad resolution. But this makes sense as these birds are nocturnal, so they make up for this lack of resolution using their echolocation. Oil birds have few predators, as nothing can reach them in their caveside roosts. The IUCN classes them as least concern, however their numbers are decreasing, but not at a rate to cause alarm. Their decline is mainly down to deforestation, as they rely on lush, fruitful jungles to feed. Thank you for watching this Animal of the Week. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.